Hello, I'm Jenny Parker, the Ear Tutor, and in this short video I will show you how to create an ePortfolio using Yola. I'm going to start at the Ask Learning Solutions website, and I've clicked on the ePortfolio tab, and you can see down here it's towards the bottom of the screen in the middle there is a link to Yola. There's also a link underneath it for the Getting Started tutorial. So I'm just going to click on the link, and it will take me to the Yola site. If it's the first time you've ever used Yola, um, you will need to create yourself an account. So you can click on the Get Started and fill in the details. It will send you an email that you can confirm. I already have a Yola account, so I'm simply going to click in the top here and log in, which is what you do once you've created your account. This will take me to my um, dashboard. As you can see, I have a couple of Yola sites already. And for the purpose of this, I'm going to create a new site. You simply click on the Create New Site button at the top right hand side and it will step you through the process. So I'm going to select Educational from the category. When you select a particular um, category, you'll see that you'll get some choices of what sort of pages to include. I don't want to contact a, a testimonial or an online store. I might leave the picture gallery and I do want an About Us and you will always have a home page. I'm not going to worry about a business name or it actually wants it because it wants me to put that in for my URL. Um, I'm just going to put Jenny P. E. Portfolio. Oops, can't spell. Portfolio. And then you can see that the next is available. I'm not going to put anything into it, any of those. Um, boxes here. I'm simply just going to click next and pick a style. Now make sure you pick a free one because the premium ones will cost you. Right, I don't want monsters. Um, let me go down a little bit. There's one down here that I know called Flash. I'm going to choose that one. So I simply click on the style that the theme that I want and you'll be able to have a look around and choose whichever one you want. And then you can see that my ePortfolio has already started. Now you can see how I've typed in my name in that first box, it's come out looking quite strange. So I'm just going to click on that and put a space in there and a capital there, like my name in lowercase. Okay, so that's my page heading. Welcome to our site. You can see that there's a picture there, so you can double click on it to upload a photo if you want. I don't want a picture on the home page, so I'm going to delete that particular one. I'm not going to put anything on the home page um, now, but that's where you would put some information about why you're creating this um, e-portfolio. I'm going to click on the About Us page. Um, I'm going to apply the same banner to all my pages in this particular case. And I'm going to save my own changes. Okay, so I'm just saving. I've clicked off that home page and it's forcing me to save the things that I did on that page before I can go on to click on the About Us. Ah, so now I'm on the About Us page. It hasn't taken through my heading to everything. We'll just click that and correct that. Okay, and here I could just put um, my name, um, my email. And the other thing that I most likely want to put on my About Me page, I'm going to change that up to me. And all I'm doing is clicking and changing it. I'm going to double click the photo. And I'm going to upload a new image. And on my computer I have photos that I can use. So I simply find the photo that I want, it will upload it for me automatically and add it to my page. So I'm going to just click on the save. And once it saves, all you need to do is click on this button at the top, Publish to the Web. Once your web is published, you'll see this screen. Um, be careful not to click on the next button in this top section. It will want you to pay for it. Click down in this Get a Free Yola Subdomain and hit Subdomain and then you'll see the next button come down here. So this is the free one that won't cost you anything. 
Okay, and once your site is published, it will give you your address at the top, which is the GMP portfolio that I typed in. And I can click on that. And you can see what it looks like. So I didn't put anything on the home site, but I, on the home page, but I did on the about us page, which is called about me. Okay, so let me close that and I'll go back to my screen before and I'll just close that window and it takes me straight back into my editing. So now I want to do is change my menu here to say about me to match my page name. So I'm just going to click on that. And you can see that it comes up with edit menu. So I'm going to click that. And on the about us page, I'll select edit and change it to about me. And the same with the hover text. It's just the text that you see when you hold your mouse over it. Okay. Alrighty, so we've got our home page, our about me page, and the other page that I want to add is um, a blog page. So all I'm going to do now is go to the top here where it says page, click on the drop arrow and go add new page. And you'll see the type of page comes up as a blank because that's mainly the ones that you'll use. But if you click on the drop down arrow there you'll find blog so you'll get a special um, menu, special type of page for a blog. Right, yes, display them as navigation. We don't want a password to protect it. We're all happy with that. And so I've just called that my blog. And then you could start typing your first one. So in this particular case, I could create a post about creating my website. And I could say whatever I wanted to do. Yeah. And obviously you would need to put in more than that to meet the um, requirements for the assignment. So I'm just showing you basically what you can do there. Okay, so now you'll have a heading and you can see it's got the date and it's got some things come up. You can manage your blogs, which means you can go back in and edit them and you can create a new post. So you just keep adding to them as you work through the semester. And I'm going to save my page. And once I've done that, I'm going to republish. Okay, every time you add or change, you can save things without republishing, but they won't appear out on your website. So your editing place and your published website are two separate um, things. So you just need to make sure that you, when you do want to see it out to the finish, that you can click on the publish and you click on your link there to go out and see what it looks like published. Okay, so my home, my about me, and my blog page. So 10 minutes and I have my page up and running. And of course on my about me page I will put a little bio about me and add some more information.